Hello, my nerds, and welcome back to The Legend of Dragoon, right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Welcome back. So good to see you. Huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, around 2 p.m. Eastern. You guys are the bee's knees, and I love you so much. Moving on from that awkward silence. Uh, in the last episode of The Legend of Dragoon, we explored all of Ulara. I showed you the rainbow bird and how much experience we can get from that. Uh, we did a backtracking to Bale. Uh, and in this episode, we are finally heading to Rouge. Oh, and we also got the Queen's Fury from the Twin Castle in Fletz, which is pretty dope. Uh, so now we can actually finally go to Rouge, which we have been hearing about. Oh man, it feels like... For, like, the entire game, we've been hearing about Hatchel's hometown of, of Rouge. And now we finally get to go to the Outland, the Outland Village Rouge. Look at how cool this place is. Wow! Sail ho! It's so pretty. The Outland Village Rouge. Now, what's kind of cool about this place is, uh, well, our very last Stardust in the entire game is here, my friends. It's been a long time. I wonder if anybody remembers me. Hatchel! Oh my god! Yeah, it's me. Well, it's been maybe, I don't know, 20 years? You've been gone for such a long time. How have you been? I was looking for my runaway daughter, but I gave up on it. Claire, huh? That's all. Oh, I feel sorry to hear that. And who are all these people? Are they your new pupils? No, no, these are my friends. I'd like for you to get to know them. But uh, we don't have time now. I have something important to talk to you about. All right, come up. I'll listen to you. <laughs> Come on, get over. The floor is going to give way. They can't have they can't have too many people because it will... Well, we can hop back into the boat to get to the Queen's Fury, but we're not going to do that. Uh, I just think it's kind of funny that, uh, that, we, <laughs> that you can't... Uh, it's funny to me, you know, that you can't stand too many people in the one spot or else you'll fall. Anyways, you can talk to this guy. Hey, you said you have an important thing to talk about, didn't you? Go directly to the mayor's place. Don't wander about in the practice area. The mayor's waiting for you, right? Yeah, he is. Uh, anyways, I want to talk to everybody because, like, well, why not? These are our friends. I found them in the sea. Buy some? Weapon seller? What do you got for us, my friend? Attack badge? Whoa. Guard badge? Giganto ring? Whoa. Very neat. The attack badge, obviously better than the magical, uh, the magical ring that we have. Uh, because it will actually, uh, you can, you can, you, it raises your physical and magical attacking power, which, which could be useful on somebody like, say, Dart. Uh, it'll make his Dragoon spells a little stronger, but also his just normal additions better. Um, we're not going to pick up one of these right now because there's just, there's no real reason to. Um, but I just thought I'd point that out. There's also an item seller here as well. Uh, that has pretty much everything that you could find throughout the entire game and even better for us panic bells So again, if you wanted in the last episode, I showed you how you could technically defeat the rainbow bird using panic bells Well, lucky for us. We can actually buy them right here in Rouge uh, So you don't have to keep going all the way back to uh, To Ulara to get the panic bells. You can actually get them right here literally right where uh, the the uh, the rainbow birds are actually found Anyways, let's talk to those two people. What's up here? I like it. I like this little town area. It's very nice. I've never seen people who weren't from Rouge. Tell me, what kind of place are you from? Uh, it's burnt. It's burnt down. It's destroyed. Uh, both places, technically. Look at how cool this place is. Wow! Isn't it a jar to put fish in? I don't know. Look at, look at all these jars. Such a small opening. It is a jar to put water in or something. Oh. Okay. I like this place. It's very cool looking. You call that huge chunk over there in the sea a ship? There's a huge ship off the island. Amazing. Uh, I'm trying to talk to the other, the other kid here. Wow, your clothes look really heavy. How do you fight in those? I'm just very strong. Nothing in it. It's just a decoration now. Oh, okay. 
We also have a save point here and uh, and obviously the mayor, which we can talk to him, but there's more people to talk to. There are no animals in Rouge that would attack people, so we don't need protective clothing like you have. There are no animals. Okay. Rouge is more like a family than a village. Everybody in the village is a member of the family. Do you, you want to be part of the Rouge family? Not entirely. It's a pretty big plant. Anyways, let's talk to the mayor. Hasn't changed a bit, huh? No kidding! This village is forgotten. We rarely have visitors from the continent. All we do is fish and sleep, fish and sleep. Practice and sleep, and practice and sleep. That's about it. Nothing has changed since Satchel left the village. Say, uh, what's cooking? You came all the way here. Must be something important, huh? Yeah. To be honest, uh, we're looking for the way to the ancient cities. Ancient cities? What the heck are they? And those were towns where the long-gone Winglies lived. Do you know anything about them? Hmm, Winglies? <laughs> what on earth are they? You lost me. You couldn't know. Let me explain. Oh, you're good. Dude, you got a long story to tell. A world crisis? That's a pretty awful thing, then. That's why we're here in a hurry. Are there any old ruins around here? Things that humans couldn't make. Hmm. Uh, how about this? There's a stick rising out from the sea. Could it be related? Oh, uh, yeah, that thing in the sea. Uh, indeed. Humans couldn't have made it. Uh, where's that? Uh, it's in the middle of the sea, but you can't get close by boat because there's a there's an awful whirlpool happening But you can see it clearly from the cliff top Well, it suddenly came up so you wouldn't have known about it uh, Well, shall we try? Hope it's the one you folks want to go to the big stick in the ocean You can see the stick from the cliff top. I hope that's what you folks were looking for yeah, I mean, I, I, I personally, I hope so, uh, because if not, well, that would be that would be just a bunch of old stinky poops. Uh, so there are more doors here in Rogue that we can get to. Now, remember, I did say that the very last, uh, the very last Stardust is in this town. Lil, who's this? Martell's here. <gasps> Martell, you folks, you are from this village too, Martell. Martel, now I remember. When I left the village, you were still little. I didn't recognize you. Is she sick? How is she? Not good, but she'd be okay with the stardust. Now I'm starting. I beg you folks, save Lil from her illness. Whoa. What? Huh? I feel refreshed. I feel refreshed like before I got sick. Lil! Ma, I cannot breathe. <laughs> oh. Let's leave them alone. That's so cute! Martel was able to save their child. Because we gathered so much stardust. You can actually go back in that room. And you can see that Lil's walking around. You can talk to Martel here. Oh, it's you folks. Lil has become so much better, but if you find more Stardust, won't you give it to me? I guess it's the partiality of a parent. I want to wish for her that she won't be sick anymore. Keep your eyes open, will ya? Sure. Look, look, I'm so much better. Yeah, Lil! Woo! Where's Phil? It's a little, little reference there. Right here, we can grab a hundred G, and then in this pot here, there's a stone in among the herbs, and that, my friends, is the very last Stardust in the entirety of the Legend of Dragoon.
I know, I know, it's crazy. Around these islands, the bride becomes a family member of the groom's island. Oh, I'm getting married to him soon. I'll be part of the Rouge family. I heard this place is called Broken Islands. Hey, I know a place that's called Bro- I heard it from a man who came here when I was a kid. There are lots of villages in the Broken Islands. Rouge is the biggest of all. Oh, so there's even more. That's pretty cool. Lil. Wait, what happened? Is Lil sick again? Martel, here. Are you sure? Thank you very much, then. Gave Stardust five. It reminds me. This one is the 50th Stardust. I'm, I made it. I made it. I collected all the Stardust in the world. Martel, make a wish, quick. I wish happiness for my daughter. I wish a bright future for my daughter. Huh? Lil? I... I had a strange dream. There was a woman. She said, I'll give you happiness. Isn't it strange? I'm already happy now. I got my ma and baby brother. That's happy enough, isn't it? Oh, Lil. I guess you are right. Ma, I can't breathe. Oops, sorry. Thanks to you, not only has Lil found happiness, but I have too. And return for your favor, take this. I feel some special power from this stone, a really special one. It might be useful for your journey, just take it. My friends, we just got... The Vanishing Stone, which we heard about in Ulara, is the way to cause uh, the apparition of Faust to disappear so that we can actually take down the one true Faust. Thanks a million. I won't forget about you ever. That is it for Stardust in the game. And also, kind of weird that we got the, like both of those scenes there. Uh, very, very strange. So if you talk to Martel without having all of them, um, she'll save Lil. And then if you talk to him again, she'll wish that Lil is happy. Like, it's weird how that those scenes actually work, but I thought I would show that. Kids are treasure chests of life. When you become a parent, you'll understand what I mean. Uh, listen, I'm a little busy, okay? For all that, for all that stuff. Anyways, let's head out of here. So now we can actually, like, head around a little bit more because we already talked to the mayor. So I think they'll actually allow us to, to explore more, which is nice of them. Look at these ladders. So many ladders. And we can come up to this chest here for a Satori Vest, which is, of course, a piece of armor that is exclusive for Mr. Hatchel here. Avoids poison, stun, and disarm uh, or uh, disarm blocking. Um, and you can actually see that it's got a pretty significant only two to your magic defense, which is not as great but a solid 10 to your physical defense for Hatchel. So we'll go ahead and equip him with that. I just think it's it's pretty cool to have that. And of course, we're replacing the Master's Vest, which when physically attacked, SP is accumulated. Obviously, he's Dragoon level 5, so he doesn't need that. But just thought I'd point that out, that that's there. Do you fight with a sword? I do, yes. We don't need weapons. Our fist is enough. It's true. I've met Hatchel, and he's, he's the same way. And now to get back where uh, we need to go basically back to where we were. And there's also another exit that you can use here if you wanted to explore a little bit more. Which will lead us to another item that we can grab. Which is the War God's Calling. Not that useful, but hey, it exists. We can grab one. In case you forgot what the War God's Calling is, it, it does automatic additions for half damage and SP, but it doesn't count towards your... Uh, leveling up your additions. So it's actually a fairly useless item and not one that I would recommend ever using. Anyways, we'll head down these ladders. There's only one area we can go to now. You can talk to these guys again. The sick suddenly, the sick, the stick suddenly rose up in the middle of the sea. Isn't it spooky? What do you mean? What do you mean? A it's just a stick in the ocean, guys. Like what? What are you talking about? Like why? Why are they making such a big deal over a stick? Fish, seaweed, items, and weapons. We harvest lots of stuff from this sea. Oh, that's neat. Anyways, let's head the only way that we can. Look at how pretty. Oh my gosh. 
I love the uh, drastic environment changes that we get in The Legend of Dragoon, especially around this time. Like, we're now on a tropical island that is just beautiful. Like, there's... Ah, oh, love it so much. Anyways, let's see if we can go find the stick. I don't know. That seems really weird to me. That... Um... That's not a stick! What are you... What are you talking about? Uh, that must be what the mayor was talking about. Hmm. There was no stick 20 years ago when I was here. Uh, it's huge and more like a tower than a stick. This structure could never be made by human technology. Rose, do you know anything about it? You were there once, weren't you? That's right. Rose is one of the dragoons who liberated humans. Don't you remember anything? Charlie said the signet spheres remain in the magic city Ageless, the death city Mayfield, and the law cities in Abatos. If I remember correctly, there was only the magical city Ageless in this region of the sea. Charlie must have made us come here because she thinks Zeke will go after the signet sphere of Ageless first. Rose, a question please. Uh, what the heck is the law city or whatever they call it? What do they mean? I was thinking about that, too. The Crystal Palace was called the Birth City, too. The Birth City Crystal Palace was a city where babies were selected to be born. Uh, select babies? Those with weak magic power weren't allowed to be born. That's awful! And the Death City Mayville was where the souls of the dead were sent to an infernal world. Wingleys in the past had even their destination after death decided for them. Do you want to know anything else? Yeah, dude. Uh, what about the Forbidden Land? It was the capital of the Wingley world dominated by Melbu Frama. It was the center of politics and the military. Hmm, that's why it was so damaged. That's the reason why it is the Forbidden Land now. Hmm, all right. Well, we heard about... She says we're hopeless if we click on that. All right, so we won't do that one again. Or, or else she'll yell at us. All right, uh, Death City Mayfield, we already know. What about Law City Zinabatos? The, the Law City Zinabatos was the city where wingly laws were made. Publicly, they claimed it was for justice, but in reality, they were laws to judge other species. Also, trials and executions were carried out in Zinabatos. I can easily imagine what kind of trials there were. It gives me the creeps. And the, what about the magical city Ageless? It was the city where magic was studied. It is astonishing that even though they had much more magic than now, they still studied it so deeply. It would never happen now. You are carefree, Miru. And that's it. We learned all about our cities. You really know this stuff. If it is Ageless, how can we approach it? We gotta hurry or Zeke will get there first. Well, we cannot go by boat. We gotta find some other way. You're all dragoons. Have you considered potentially flying to it? Maybe I'm being ridiculous. So you can actually go back up here if you wanted to talk to these people. Now, we've actually seen this area before uh, in flashbacks. In Hatchel's flashbacks, we've seen the training areas. Realization of progress makes even a hard practice enjoyable. Yeah! Wah! Yeah! Uh, hello? Discipline your body and discipline your heart. Then the Tao of the martial art will open itself. Never forget it. You're going near the stick? It's impossible. There's a big whirlpool around the stick. No boat can go near it. Well, I guess we can't go near the stick. Also, I just like that there's like an area up here you can run to. <laughs> Anyways, uh, how are we going to get here? I have no idea. How do we get to the Magical City Ageless? I guess we can go talk to the mayor and maybe take the boat to the Queen Fury. Wait a minute. Mirror Room Ageless, the Magical City. What? What's wrong, Rose? 
We were being watched by somebody. Being watched? Huh? What's going on? <gasps> the sea is split! Okay, let's go! Whoa! What are Miru and Hatchel looking at? They went one way. Oh. Oh, okay. There's more sticks now. What is that? The magical city Ageless revealed itself. Uh, Hatchel, is that what you were looking for? It seems like it. Thank God that it found us. Now we can go in before C. Let's go. Yeah! Okay, but wait, wait, wait. We gotta go talk to everybody first, because I wanna see I wanna see how the islanders are or what are what are they how are they feeling? They're like, oh my god! The sea is split, what's going on? We're all being swallowed whole. Darn, the sea is split. What a spooky appearance. It gives me goosebumps. Love goosebumps. The number of sticks multiplied. I know, I was saying the same thing, dude. What does the mayor say? The stick must be the ancient city of those whatchamacallit winglies. No, you said it. That was it. Is this some kind of curse? Oh, how dreadful. Oh, you guys will be okay. A road in the sea from the stick. It's as if it's waiting for someone to take it. Let's go to the magical city ageless, my friends to stop Zeg from destroying a signet sphere. Hey, if we succeed, that's it, right? Game over, except for, you know, the fact that Shauna's probably dead. All right, my friends, this is your last chance to stock up at the, uh, the item shop, the weapon shop, all of that stuff. You can also save if you so choose, but we, my friends, no kidding, you folks are gonna put to sea, aren't you? We are going to go. We're going. Don't you know what's going on? The sea split and weird stuff appeared. That's why we're here. You folks are insane. Yes, we are. <laughs> you could talk to everybody in the village, but all they're really going to say is, There's a stick. The stick is split. Look at everyone watching. Oh my god. There's a road for formed on the bottom of the sea. It's true, if we take a boat, we can walk from midway. And of course, once we get out here, we'll actually have three different options. We can return to Rouge, we can go to the Queen Fury, or we can go to Ageless, the magical city. And that's where we're going. There's no need to hesitate. Let's go in Ageless. Heck yeah, my friends. Now, of course you could go back to the Queen's Fury, but there's no real need. And don't worry, you will always be able to get back to Rouge, no matter what. Uh, and so I, I, I don't want to say too much more, but you don't worry about it if you didn't get all the start. Holy smokes, man. I forgot how beautiful this area is. What's going on here? Magic. Somebody's supporting this with magic. It seems we are invited. It's convenient for us. We have no reason to say no. Hmm. This door is not locked either. Dart, you go ahead and open it. Zeke will come here to destroy the Signet Sphere. You will have to finally settle things. So I want you to open the first door. Okay, but we need to talk to our friends first. Don't be slow, Pump. It's not like you. What stops you? Uh, nothing. Albert, hello? We can still go back to Rouge from here, but it is better that we hurry. Once you decide, there should be no hesitation. Let's go forward. Shauna and your father are waiting for us. So, this is the magic power. What are you dilly-tallying about? Hmm. We are saving Shauna, aren't we? There's no time to hesitate. We have no choice but to go. I can't believe a person exists with such bitch and magic power. Yeah, Mimaru says bitch it. Sorry, I got excited. Open the door at once. Let's go, my friends, to the magical city Ageless. Now, once you have entered, now you cannot leave. You are here forever, my friends. You're stuck here. Go nowhere. 
Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh. This is the bottom of the sea. What a great view. It's worth waiting a long... Don't forget we were invited by somebody. Otherwise, this will be the last view we see. But it's incredible magic, creating this much space in the water. This city originally was not in such a suffocating place. All the wingly cities used to float in the air, so it was easier to control the creatures below. And that's how it was until we shot them down. With my dad. Yes, Zeeg and me, five other dragoons together. 11,000 years have passed since then, and now we are here. Being here to protect the Signet Sphere. <laughs> Feels strange to me. Uh, we should go. What's going on? Sea closed. Uh, what? They don't want us to go back. They're playing hardball with us. Uh, well, I guess we better listen, considering we are in the middle of the ocean. So, as always, take the Wingly Teleporters to head to where we gotta go. Look at how cool this place looks, my friends. Oh, who are you? Uh, what's this? Uh, Ref. Ref has been in here forever, Ref. I only know the view and sound in here, Ref. It doesn't seem to be harmful. It's Ruff, Ruff. Ruff doesn't want to say anything, but it's a message, so that it's Ruff, Ruff. Welcome to the seven heroes fated to be here. And Rose, these thousands of years I have waited were neither as long as eternity, nor as short as a mere twinkle of a star. People who confront their fate with courage. I forgot the rest. How do you know my name? Whose message is this? Ruff only knows what Ruff hears, Ruff. Ruff doesn't know anything else, Ruff. Are you on Zeke's side? Answer me or I'm gonna mess you up. Mess you up. Ruff has never seen it and doesn't know, Ruff. Show it to Ruff. It should be some rough stuff, Ruff. Hey, Miranda, uh, this baby didn't do anything. Sorry, we scared you. Oh, this baby's made by magic. By magic? There wasn't even such technology during the dragon campaign. You gotta believe this, cause it's right in front of your eyes. But this baby's totally cute. Uh, Ruff is cute. And you all are not cute, Ruff. But Rose is exception, Ruff. If you are gonna treat me as an exception, why don't you take me to the Signet Sphere? It's your own challenge to go by yourself, Ruff. All is for the sake of the psychedelic bomb and moot. Ruff. Ruff is going, Ruff. It's Ruff, Ruff. Well, uh, we gotta go anyway. Yeah, I mean, where, where do we go? I guess we can go this way? It doesn't open. I guess we can't go that way? All right, let's continue this way. I liked Ruff. Ruff seems rough, Ruff. <laughs> and we could grab a chest here, which contains a burnout. Actually, we haven't seen a burnout in quite some time, so pretty cool to grab one now, especially because of the, well, you'll see, my friends. And we can also grab a gushing magma, another fire-based. Uh, that's very interesting, I wonder why. Well, let's go ahead and use this teleporter first. Then we'll go ahead and use this one as well. There are random encounters here, which we'll get into, of course, as soon as we get into one. Hopefully, we can grab some items, though, before that happens. Look at how cool this area is. All right, our first random encounter here in the City of Ageless, my friends. And we get to face off against some jellies, which shouldn't be too bad. A lot of the enemies that you'll actually be facing in here are water-based elementals, including these. These are jellies, water-based enemies with 640 health, and they have a 10% chance of dropping a healing fog. Now, you're not going to have to worry about these too much. Uh, if if you their, their magic defense is super, super high, so I would not recommend using magic to defeat these. Instead, you're going to have to rely on uh, physical attacks, and trust me, you're going to destroy them with physical attacks. They can also cast magic and also recover their own health. 
And of course, every single character can one-shot them. So that's fun on a bun. Anyways, continue on. So there are a total of uh, about five enemies that we can actually find here, five new enemies. Uh, and obviously we'll be going into those as soon as we get them. But right there, we just got the magical hat. I believe that's the only magical hat that you get in the game. But don't forget, I actually got magical hats from every encounter. So we now uh, officially, oops, we now officially have three of them, uh, which is pretty cool. I'll go ahead and show you that we have all three just because I think it's a cool thing to have, uh, especially because that means that we have a, a perfect amount, right? Because, um, yeah, I think that you can only have three people in your party. So I consider having three magical hats a perfect amount of them, which is which is awesome. Uh, consider, you could theoretically get more, uh, but that was only if the purple boogies from way back on the ghost ship actually dropped them, which, of course, they, they didn't. The other item that we just picked up was a moon serenade. But I kind of skipped over because who cares? And we got some new enemies already in this battle. The only earth elemental, the only elemental actually that isn't water here, the Minotaur that we have to face. 960 health from this guy. And he also has a 2% chance of dropping a heavy mace, which we already picked up. Uh, it's it's way too late actually for a heavy mace to even be useful. But uh, this, is, this is where you could get one from a random encounter. Again, this guy has a ton of health. Oops. But very low magic defense, very low physical defense. The other enemy that we are facing here is the Aqua King. Now, the Aqua King can put up a magic shield like it just did, so we'll have to pummel it with physical attacks, which is fine. Uh, it can also, if I'm not mistaken, also use a physical attack barrier, so you kind of have to switch it up. It looks just like the Merman that we faced before, but thought I would point that out. Uh, it also has an 8% chance of dropping an Angel's Prayer with 640 health. Should be pretty easy. It's also worth mentioning that the enemy, the Aqua King, will literally never attack you. It will always try to boost itself by using power-ups or uh, or physical uh, 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 physical attack barriers or magic attack barriers. It's actually pretty surprising how much experience that we are getting from some of these encounters as well. I also just like that there are random encounters here, and of course they of course they would be you know water elemental based. Anyways, we want to continue going uh, the path that we had to go before I got distracted by items. Hello? <laughs> I like, couldn't use that. That was embarrassing. Anyways, let's continue forward here. Hello? Who are you? Hello? Looks like some kind of research device. Oh, we can talk to you. Sorry, you. We are busy preparing the psychedelic bomb and moots. Boo, sorry, few. It's all in the message by Ruff. Disturbing our work is too rough, Ruff. It's been a while since I last came here. Uh, don't you think you should be nice to me and tell me more? Ruff has nothing to say. Ruff has something else to do, Ruff. Sorry, few. We are magic creatures, few. We have different roles, few. What are you doing here? Preparing the psychedelic bomb in mood, foo. You can complete it, few. You can become the source of power, foo. Sorry, Few. He is coming, Few. I have to make it in time, Few. Remember your courage, Few. He? Let's go. They irritate me. Oh, but they like you so much. Anyways, we can grab an angel's prayer right here. Look at these. Looks like some kind of de research device. Also said moots. What does that mean? Hello? Can I... Cannot be done in time. Moots cannot be done in time. Is that what it said? What is moots? Trying to... That's not good. So, can we, can we... Hello? Cannot be dumb in time. Phew. What does it mean? Anyways, I guess we can continue on. What a cool-looking area, though. And, hopefully, this is the remaining two enemies that we can find here in Ageless. Let's find out. One of the new enemies that we can find is the Scud Shark that stands before us. 400 health on this baby uh, and has an 8% chance of dropping a body purifier. It can also uh, stun some people by using torpedo trauma, uh, but I don't think we're going to have to worry about that. This is just an enemy that you shouldn't probably prioritize at all. Especially when you can just one-shot it with a big old moon strike. Moving on, we only have one path that we can use, which is this teleporter here. And this will actually bring us to this one here, which is annoying, to say the least. 
So we'll go ahead and we'll use this middle one here, which will bring us up. And we'll actually skip this one in the middle so that we can go get this item here, which is a Sun Rhapsody that we can pick up. Nice free item there. And you can also use this chat, this here, which will bring us here, which is funny because, uh, well, anyways, that'll lead us up to that second one. So you could use either the middle one or that one on the right. But the one that we need to use is actually like the north one. Rose hit level 30 in that random encounter. Good for her, man. Good for her. And then we want to use this one right here, which is the correct way to go. It'll bring us up to this platform here. Pretty easy teleporting area, to be quite honest. Hello? Oh, it's scared. It's a magic creature again. Don't be mean. It's just Pino. It's just a message, you know. Uh, give me a break. Is everything like this in here? It's Rose, you know. You are in the mirror, Rose, you know. It's Rose who got friends and is in the mirror, you know. Stop speaking in riddles. If you have a message, just say it. Don't be mean, you know. Savan said, you know, Zinabatos, which governs the rightful law, has lost its reason, and Mayfield, which governs over noble death, has been toyed with by devils from the infernal world. This city is no exception. My magic power is deteriorating and cannot prevent the invasion by monsters anymore. The only saving grace is my... This city's objective is about to be completed. You are the key. I have been waiting for you for thousands of years. Come before he comes. Savan. As if he knows everything. Well, we will find out. Well, I guess there's only one way to go. So let's follow that creature. Spino? Spino? What? It's a roly-poly guy. I like him. Can I talk to him? I can stop him. You stop me, Cal. I'll introduce myself, Cal. I am DeCal. Welcome to the city of Savan. You look different from the others. I just roll around and comfort Savan's heart. Who is that person? That's a good question, Cal. But I think, Cal, you should go forward, Cal. Savan's fate will be de decided soon, Cal. Is Savan the same as me? The same Wingly, Cal. And Savan is a Wingly who has been observing through a mirror for thousands of years, Cal. So go, Cal. Time is rolling on to the conclusion, Cal. Hey, that's where we saw. What is this? The mirror that reflects the present has been watching you forever, Pino. For thousands of years, watching you, Rose, Pino. What for? Don't be mean, Pino. Savan is the same as you, Rose. Pino, the same as all of you now, Pino. Savan is over there, Pino. Whoa, that's so weird. We can see. Oh, it's so crazy. It's about to end, Pino. What do you mean, it's about to end? What does that mean? For 7,000 years. For 7,000 years? Huh. Very mysterious place we have here. Of course, we can go grab this item as well, which I believe is a healing fog. And I was right. It's a healing fog. Nice. Now, we only have one enemy left in Ageless that we can find here, which is, uh, well, hopefully it's this one. And it was not. So, let's go ahead and use this teleporter here. Look at how cool, I just, oh man, I, this, I know I say this in every area, but it's so pretty. Wasn't that one either. Whatever, I don't even, I don't even care, dude. Just wait until we get to another city. You guys are going to be like, ah! So I believe the first one that we want to head to is this teleporter right here, which will bring us over to this side, and then we'll go over here. Because don't forget, there is an item that we actually passed. We'll head over here and use this teleporter, which should bring us right here. Perfect. And we can grab one of the last items that we can grab, which is a healing rain. Way more useful than a healing fog, of course. One that I don't mind holding on to healing rains, let me tell you. Even though I don't really use restoration items, it's, yeah, it's still cool to have one. And then to get out of here, what we want to do is we want to use this teleporter right here. Which will lead us up here, and here we go. I think we're about to meet Mr. Savan. The time has come. The foreseen evil is approaching. But my wish is now hereby accomplished after an eternity. Hello? I am Savan. I am a wingly fated wait. The signet sphere you are looking for is safe. It is protected by last kraken. You know everything. 
I know that there is no time left as well. Who are you? What are you going to do? No. What are you going to make us do? I survived the Dragon Campaign and continued studying magic to reconstruct a wingly world. Yes, even making myself ageless and immortal. However, the world outside the mirror hasn't required me. The world of Wingleys is no longer desired. I, an immortal body with no purpose, 4,000 years of solitude deprived me of everything, even the significance of life and the meaning of death. But 7,000 years ago, I was saved by Rose. I found the meaning of life in the black monster in the mirror. Rose, who now is confronting her fate. I restarted my study for Rose, and its crystallization is this psychedelic bomb and moot. We will stop the murderous deeds of Zeke, who continues the plan of the Creator by using the attacking spell, the psychedelic bomb. And with Moot, we will completely seal the moon that never sets. That is the answer to the riddle. No wonder it takes several thousand years. Moot will be completed soon, but in order to activate the psychedelic bomb, I need the courage of all of you. Uh, our courage? Hmm. It seems that my courage alone is not enough. The psychedelic bomb didn't work. I guess I don't have any courage. That's not true. You have courage, Savan. Yes, you have been fighting alone for thousands of years. But now we are here with you. Yes, our intention is the same. You have to endure your own challenge, and we will pour the courage that is born from them into the psychedelic bomb and activate it. When you are ready, come to me. All right, my friends. Uh, well, I mean, I would like, I would like to save. Can I save the game? Can I? You cannot go, Uck. I will let you go until Savan's challenges are completed, Uck. Savan has waited for thousands of years, Uck. You can wait a little bit, Uck. Uh, okay. I just thought, I just thought I would, you know, I thought I would check. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're ready, I guess. Let me tell you, lots of the world's magic was created here. But the newborn magic is a mere hunk of materials. Without heart, the real power cannot be employed. But we have here brave people who can remain just and have the heart to bring completion to the ultimate magic. Please, ignite the psychedelic bomb with your courage. Now, proceed to the Chamber of Challenges. Whoa! That was neat. Guess Congo's going first. Miranda. One for all seven of us. Why is yours blue? I guess that's green. Goodbye, Miru. Hatchel, my friend. Have a good day. And Rose. Good luck in there. You are the last. Please be here with me till then. At last, we're starting. No. This will be the end of my rule. My fate of waiting as well. Uh, all right. Well, my friends, that is a perfect time to end this episode. It was a little bit of a bigger one, a little bit of a longer one, uh, but it felt like I needed to keep going. You know what I mean? So this is a perfect stopping point, uh, and I can't wait for you guys to see the results of whatever this courage test is. And, you know, are we too late? We will find out in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Thank you. I sincerely appreciate you. And remember, never give up. Never surrender to the test of courage.